Okay, this video is going to show you how to install cast iron caster wheel with its pin onto a treadle sewing machine base. This is a Singer. So basically, we've got our hole that goes through here. You can see the pin goes through. And make sure you've got movement like that at first uh, when you go to put it in so it's not tight. Sometimes you may have to put this onto a, a hard surface. Um, like the back end of a vise or something or a large thick piece of steel and just hammer it down a little. Two ways to do this. First is putting the pin in through the wheel or caster so it's in. <coughs> Excuse me. And then taking basically a big hammer and little hammer. Now the the most important thing is, is do not miss, because if you hit this tab, this is cast iron, it's brittle, and you can break one of these off. If that gets broken off, then you're kind of, you're going to have to get a whole new side. Um, but basically what I do is I hold the heavier hammer towards the back end of the pin, and there's a little lip that sticks out, and you just hit it, striking only the pin. You want a bit of little burr onto it. And then once you get the burr on there, it's it's a little tricky. Because sometimes it, you don't get a whole lot sticking out. But once you get that on, that holds it in place. Now what we're going to do, I'm going to start again with the uh, thing off. I'll show you the, the second way of doing this. And now I'm going to show you the second way uh, for mounting the wheel on. And it involves taking um, two-part epoxy. Uh, this stuff is typically pretty strong. The tubes are fairly cheap. Um, you squeeze it out and mix it together. Um, I've got some pre-mixed here. And what we're going to do is we're going to insert the epoxy into the end. And again, of course, make sure your pin slides in and out easily. Like that. And uh, you wear rubber gloves. If these fit. And now I've got some already mixed up. Your color varies uh, depending on the product. And just take a scoop of it, a little scoop, and fill it in that hole. You don't want it going all the way through to the other end because you don't want it binding against your wheel. So when you have your epoxy in the hole like that, and this is why I'm wearing rubber gloves, um, we push the pin through and then what I do is I hold the end and then I push the pin so now it's forcing the epoxy all around the pin and then I'll wipe the excess off my finger and use a, uh, a towel so now the epoxy is only on this end and it's going to dry and that stuff's pretty strong uh, that will definitely hold your pin into place and that's the easiest way to install it using an epoxy it's a little more expensive because I think the tubes are about seven eight dollars they're in any hardware store um, and that's how you do it so then you've got your wheel in place and it spins the epoxy read the manufacturers uh, instructions you may have to let it sit a half hour before you set it back upright and that's it